संतोष बंसोड़े फ्रॉम सिंहगढ़ कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग पंडरपुर हेयर इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर मैकेनिकल ड्राइव्स आर डिस्कस्ड आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू विल कम टू नो अबाउट गाइडलाइंस फॉर सिलेक्शन ऑफ ड्राइव्स एडवांटेजेस ऑफ गियर ड्राइव्स एंड देयर क्लासिफिकेशन नाउ वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट द मैकेनिकल ड्राइव्स आर रिक्वायर्ड बिटवीन द सोर्स ऑफ पावर that is prime mover and the part of operating machine in every application which involves power and motion transmission requires one of the mechanical drives now the question may come in our mind that what are the mechanical drives belt drives chain drives and gear drives are often called as mechanical drives a mechanical drive is nothing but a mechanism which is intended to transmit mechanical power over a certain distance involving a change in speed and torque now let us see the classification of these drives broadly mechanical drives are classified on the basis of the principle of operation in the first principle the power is transmitted by means of friction for example belt drives and rope drives come under this category these drives are also referred as flexible drives and another principle of power transmission is by means of engagement for example chain drives and gear drives fall in this category where the power is transmitted by means of engagement these are the major drives often used in our day to day life moving ahead the factors considered in the selection of mechanical drives are listed here such as velocity ratio center distance shifting arrangement maintenance considerations and cost here considering the guidelines for the selection first one is first factor is considered is the selection based on the center distance if the distance between two shafts is large flat belts and roller chains are preferred whereas for comparative shorter distance three belts are used the distance between two shafts is smallest in case of gear drives now considering the second factor that is velocity ratio in case of flat belt drives the slip is inevitable slip always exists in this drive speed of driven pulley is different than the calculated by the ratio of diameters of the driving and driven pulleys now due to slip the velocity ratio is not constant therefore flat belt drives are not recommended when constant speed is desirable also in certain drives velocity ratio is not constant due to polygonal effect hence in applications where constant velocity ratio is desired gear drives are preferred now the third factor is the shifting arrangement in certain applications shifting mechanism is required to achieve different speeds for example automobile gear boxes lathe machines shifting arrangement is possible in flat belts and spur gears flat belts can be shifted from light to loose pulley whereas spur gears can be shifted on the spline shaft but shifting mechanism is not possible in free belts and chain drives from maintenance point of view belt drives are simple whereas lubrication is an important consideration in chain drives and gear drives at last comparing the costs 
flat belt drives are the cheapest one whereas fee belt and chain drives are comparatively costly but the gear drives are the costliest if we define here a gear a gear is nothing but a toothed machine part such as a wheel or cylinder that meshes with another toothed part to transmit motion or to change speed or direction gears are often known as multi lobed cams which after successful engagement with another part transmit motion and power now here are certain advantages of gear drives over chain and belt drives gear drives are also called as positive drives because there is no slip while transmitting the power velocity ratio is constant in case of gear drives as center distance is small therefore they are compact in construction gear drives can transmit very large power as compared to other mechanical drives and also they can transmit motion at very low velocity which is impossible by other mechanical drives gear drives have high efficiency and it is up to 99% in case of spur gears at last the velocity ratio can be changed over a wide range by use of gear shifting which is the great advantage let us move further for classification of gear drives the first one is the spur gears in case of spur gears the teeth are cut parallel to the axis of the shaft and the shaft layout is parallel and non intersecting in many applications we see these gears second one is the helical gears teeth are cut at an angle to the axis of the shaft that angle is called as the helix angle the shaft layout is parallel and non intersecting which is the same as that of spur gears but the power transmitting capacity of helical gears is high and they have smooth operation while transmitting the motion next one is the bevel gears bevel gears have the shape of a truncated cone <clears throat> it seems as a cone is cut and its section is taken here we can see that there is considerable decrease in the size of the gear tooth towards the apex of the cone and here shaft layout is perpendicular and intersecting here the axes intersect each other and angle between them is 90 degree worm gears worm gears consists of a worm and worm wheel a worm is nothing but a threaded screw which meshes with a matching wheel the teeth of worm wheel envelop the threads of worm as there is surface contact there is high friction therefore high heat is generated therefore they have the lowest efficiency among all the gears and the shaft layout is perpendicular and non intersecting though here shafts are perpendicular but their axes never intersect each other thank you